And I'm a cut paper collage artist working in San Francisco. Born and raised in the Oakland Hills, I got the Oakland Hills accent. I always get asked where, where I'm from, and it's not regional, it's just my own personal affectation. That's my self-portrait. When I turned 30, I dyed my hair bright purple. It was, it was a mistake, an extremely expensive mistake. Covered in raccoons, can you imagine? They like fucking bite you and claw your eyes out. <laughs> I know how to give an Archie spiel, okay? I got my BFA. Wow. The, I, I've been calling it collage, and if I'm asked to describe it, I call it painting with paper. Yeah, it's the same process as painting, just the, the buildup of shapes um, and using optical mixing and um, just putting the colors and the layers together until it looks like something. Rather, rather than traditional collage, which I guess most when you say that to most people, they're like, yeah, I used to do that when I was four. <laughs> Why do you like the paper? Oh, I'll tell you why I like the paper, okay? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, the, with the painting, another thing I didn't like, yeah, besides the mess, was waiting for the paint to dry. And like, I was a, an acrylic painter, like, liked, liked to paint straight out of the tube, like, wasn't really interested in mixing color, because I, like, I just wanted to like get to it, like, just put, start putting stuff down. But the oil looks, has such a better look to it, like the opacity and the saturation of color. And so I really like that, but then you have to wait for, for fucking air for it to dry. And I have no patience for that kind of thing. And I always wanted to paint like the paint by number style. I thought that'd be so cool if I could paint like that. Yeah. I just have no patience for that. But with the paper, it's like the additive process is, and I don't have to wait for fucking air for it to dry. You just keep going and going and going. And, and the layers can just be built up pretty much indefinitely it does get extremely thick and topographical which is actually pretty cool and so then it gets like a sculptural kind of look the magic happens when you're like in front of it and then from far away you're like what is that like that's a cool painting and then you get up close to it and you're like oh my god someone cut this out of paper why would you do that <laughs> I get asked like if I use a laser cutter or a computer or something. I was like, I'm not smart enough for that. I have a scissors and, a, and glue and paper, and I'm just doing that. Yeah. One of the overarching concepts is the man-made influence on the natural world. So it's a lot in like thinking about what we're gonna leave behind, like our archeological footprint or whatever, is just gonna be like so much bullshit, like plastic shit. Like, yeah, like just all this stupid stuff that I buy. I'm, I'm like, part of this is like dealing with my guilt as like a consumer and someone who drives my car every day. And I like, you know, I like buying the coffee cup and throwing it away, that kind of shit. And so I'm like deal contending with that. And then imagining like how animals will adapt within this trashed environment but kind of they kind of enjoy it because they're like yeah they're getting to eat our junk food and like all this sugar and and caffeine and um that they that they will adapt to it and um like the animals become the humans almost they like step into our shoes and and they like it which is a kind of a naive hopeful view but it's my the Dealing with global warming is so scary and terrifying and overwhelming that I kind of have to have this humorous lens on it. Otherwise, I'll just like want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so I'll be like, most of my Google search is like happy raccoon, angry raccoon, sad raccoon, bags of trash, dumpster, trash in park, food, junk food, like just, just kind of crap like that. And then I need to work from a reference. I don't work straight out of my head. I like need to look at whatever I'm making. If I'm like in the zone, these things, like something like a, a small piece like that, like that koala is like a 16 by 20. If that took like four or five days, like it goes pretty fast when I, when I know what I'm doing and I get into the, the paper cutting mode. See, yeah, no, and I'm pretty good about not cutting myself. Um, and so I just, I just kind of wanted to make something fun and colorful and, um, it's got like the classic characters in it, yeah, like Nacho Rat and, um, donut pigeon, he's got a donut stuck around his neck and kind of showcase like what, some, like an encapsulation of my work. And this, this pretty much does it, it's like got, got all the hits in it, like my greatest hits right here. <laughs> In upcoming stuff, um, what the hell's going on? Uh, website is andreabergen.com and Instagram is jumb0 underscore. I'm Bo Jr., but the O's are zeros. Self look too good in a self portrait, you look like a fucking asshole. <laughs> time. I fill it every single thing up. Guy, a fuck negative space. <laughs> time. People like art with people in it because, like, that's me. Bought time. Being able to recognize something in, in a piece like brings people joy when they're like, hey, that's Mountain Dew. Bought time. Plastic is bad for the earth. Bought time. Hey. <laughs>